Hello and welcome to part 3 of the rock type series. Today we will be looking specifically at metamorphic rocks. We have already looked at igneous rocks and sedimentary rocks and today we are looking at our third and final rock type. The thing to remember with metamorphic rocks is that this rock used to be an igneous rock or a sedimentary rock or even an earlier metamorphic rock and it has undergone intense heat and pressure. Now this intense heat and pressure changes the minerals in the rock, it can change the structure of the rock and it ultimately causes this rock to become a new rock which is then what we call metamorphic. Think back to when we spoke about our igneous intrusions in our igneous rocks video. If our surrounding rock, which is most likely sedimentary rock, is right next to one of those igneous intrusions, this rock is going to be exposed to intense heat. Magma is very, very, very hot. It's almost as if the surrounding rock is baked by this very, very hot igneous intrusion and it can change what the sedimentary rock looks like. And this process is called contact metamorphism. Contact metamorphism is going to change the structure and composition of that rock because it is so close to this very hot igneous intrusion. So that covers heat. Now what about pressure? If a rock is caught between two moving land masses, it puts great pressure on this rock and it can stretch out the minerals or it can even flatten the minerals that are in this rock. And again, it changes the structure and composition of this rock. A good example of this is marble. You can see that the minerals have been changed. It's like they have been stretched out. So what happens with marble is that it was once limestone, but because it was exposed to great heat and pressure, it became the metamorphic rock marble. The same thing can happen to sandstone. Sandstone exposed to great heat and pressure becomes quartzite. Now we've spoken about heat impacting rocks and pressure impacting rocks. But it is important to note that with metamorphic rocks, it is often a combination of heat and pressure that form metamorphic rocks. If you want to learn more about the different rock types, you can click the links in the description box below. We've spoken about igneous and sedimentary rocks, and I will also be doing a video on the rock cycle, so keep your eyes open. Thanks for watching!